The Oratory, a film produced and directed by Obi Emelonye, in collaboration with the Salations of Don Bosco, Nigeria. Brought to light the plight of young people, especially those on the street. team made a film without a budget but we made a film that we are very proud of after its premiere in Ireland the United Kingdom and in Italy the film the oratory an Africanized version of the story of Don Bosco was premiered in Nigeria at Lagos and Abuja on the 20th and 27th of November 2021, respectively. We know the power of the media in our world right now. In fact, it's like anything that is not media does not exist. So, no matter what somebody is doing off camera to alleviate the state or the problem of children in the streets, putting it in the media, I mean, without the media, is going to have far less impact. So, by creating this awareness, I am sure he's also going to raise more armies of people who will do something in their only two ways. So you have an aggregate of different individuals doing something to help children on the streets. Yes, I have. I have a big expectation because of the because of the topic, because of the theme, because of the of the intentions of those who are involved, which coincides with not only what the church wants done but what any man or woman of goodwill should be interested in. Your expectation? I expect that it's going to be a nice movie in general. I expect that it's going to be great, it's going to be quite uh, revealing and educative. You can see it's sold out, tickets are sold out. It's a fantastic movie. I saw the premiere in London and um, it's a blast. Each work of art has two duties to do. One, to inspire and secondly to entertain so i hope this movie will inspire and entertain its audiences that's why i'm here my expectation is that many people are going to come and then the Salesian charism is going to be displayed here in Abuja and not only Abuja, all over Nigeria since this is the capital of Nigeria. I'm Father Carlo Donati from the Apostolic Nunciator and um, I represent here the Papa Nuncio who was uh, not uh, in the possibility to come this afternoon. It's an interesting question because uh, always the Salesians are uh, known to be very uh, attentive to the needs of the youth. I'm going to try to watch it and I expect it to be very, 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 very exciting so that I will be able to tell people to watch it, you know. By this movie, very many dimensions of the church that were never highlighted, highlighted especially as relates to Africa you know, will now come out and people will then, then begin to appreciate what it is about Africa and the, mission, the missionaries that has made all this difference. The film houses were lit up with cultural dance presentations from various Nigerian tribes. A lot of people here to watch the premiere of the movie. And right behind me, we have a, a cultural troupe showing that in our diversity, we can be united as unity in diversity. The 
energy was unrivaled as dancers graced the floor with colorful displays to expose their Nigerian heritage. Students and others in attendance joined the cultural troops with pride to showcase and support their various cultures. The premiere of the movie in Nigeria was a huge success. It was well attended by church authorities, priests, religious, government officials, cooperative organizations, and people from all aspects of life, individuals and organizations alike. The film halls were quickly filled with all who were anxious to see the movie. All who were present embraced the idea of belonging to a project as big as the oratory. The positive atmosphere encouraged bonding and raised the overall level of comfortability. Seats were occupied to full capacity as the lights dimmed and the movie began. Thank you very much. My name is Obia Melonye. I'm, uh, um, I'm part of the writing team, the director and the producer of the film you just watched. Um, it is the baby child of Father Serial Odia, who has lost this idea about translating the philosophy of Don Bosco into the African reality and he contacted me in 2016, and we've been working on it, trying to find a way to make a film that has multiple international locations without any budget whatsoever. I learned a lot. I love Bosco Boys, I love the Don Bosco story, I love Mama Margaret's story, <laughs> and watching this movie made a lot of things come alive in my mind, made it real and vivid. Um, yeah, it was, it was captivating. I think it drove the message home directly. Like, I really enjoyed it. At first I thought it was going to be like, oh, this okay, regular Nigerian Hollywood movies, but then it really it blew me away. The message that was being pushed, and that is to talk about the, the legacy, the thing that John Don Bosco is known for, picking up street children and making sure that they are rehabilitated and that they live better lives. Well, I learned that no matter how bad you are, you can always change, no matter how impossible that might seem. Just like the Makoko boys. Yes, it was everything and even much more. Um, first of all, I've always known the director, Obi Emeloye, to be a prolific filmmaker, so I was expecting nothing less of the standard and quality. Two, so it was good to see movies that inculcate good values and preach, you know, spirituality and these are some of the morals and things I stand for. So all around I'm very impressed. It's good to know that uh, there's an arm of the church that is responsible for going to look for lost children on the streets. I mean, a lot of young people these days don't have the right mentors. So it's good to see that there's that part of the story that is encouraging young people to get closer to God and to live godly lives. It was everything in one. Fantastic, a masterpiece being put together. It's just a very polite way of letting the world know what great work we need to do. And if everybody would actually rise up to this job, I think our world would be going to be a better place. Well, it's a message of love and care for others. I find that it's a replication of what Don Bosco did, the original Don Bosco. Uh, who is the founder of the Salesians? It's um, an everyday story that focuses on faith, beliefs and basically paying attention to the needs of the less privileged in the society which I think our faith is all about which is love your neighbor as thyself. I was spellbound uh, from the beginning of the movie till the end and it was or it is a very educative even to me a Salesian and I was asking myself how much of it have I really done? Yeah, it was very touching for me and um, informative and educative. Such a beautiful movie and moving. I think it's the fact that um, we should do something about street children 
because um, according to the stats, there are about 100,000 street children and they are exposed to all kinds of um, uh, challenges or so they are at risk you know in the areas of uh, sexual abuse I mean the homeless crime child trafficking everything so it's important that um, as a country um, we do something about about them uh, the movie was good and very educative intriguing the picture quality was very good. If we take any neighborhood of ours or any vicinity, we know the number of people who are just uh, young people uh, languishing. How do we reduce that number through all the things we need to put, school, education, shelter, fooding, clothing, all the basic needs that they, that they need. Um, that is what I'm thinking about constantly and that is what we hope to achieve with this project with all our partners uh, that you can see here. It is important we stress that parents should not, drive, should not throw away their children. We have a major issue right now in the north about the so-called Almagiri, which are young boys mainly who have been abandoned and thrown away by their parents. And we've known that now many of them end up as Boko Haram. Now, we, we, the stream also has challenged the church. Because within the church, there are people who just feel that there are a certain category of people who don't belong. And they look down on them. And not only like the case of the parish council chairman, but even the priests themselves too are not too sure how far we can go. So this film challenges us to realize that Jesus welcomes everyone. Thank you, Dad.